28 degrees. T uh, winds coming in from the west at 5 miles an hour. And looking around the rest of the nation here, we do have a pocket of warmer air that is sitting here in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida even. And even got some 80s in the southern tip of Texas. But with those warmer temperatures, we have plenty of thunderstorms going on. We have some flash flood warnings that are going through portions of around Tennessee, the Carolinas, even Georgia. And this area around Mississippi and Alabama is under an extreme uh, situation where they are expecting plenty of tornadic activity from the, uh, from the same system that was kind of building up over us yesterday. So we still had a few showers that have been developing the last couple of hours to the east of the Contra Valley, and that's been pushing off into the northeast direction. So we're not expecting a whole lot. As a matter of fact, this is how much rain we did get in the last 24 hours with this rain here. I mean, even look around Brady, just to the southwest, got about three to four inches of rain in that little area. Otherwise, most of the yellow and the green is sitting about one to two, possibly three inches of rainfall. But those areas definitely need it because that's where we are actually experiencing the higher levels of drought here especially here we have the severe drought moderate drought even so folks in the eastern part of the Contra Valley definitely need the uh, rain that's been coming through looking at highs for today we are expecting upper 60s to low 70s so we are sitting at about average for this time of year now we're not expecting a whole lot going on we are going to see a few clouds starting to make their way in as we head into the first half of this weekend so it's going to be kind of a mixture of sun and clouds we are going to have warmer temperatures as we get into tomorrow as well so we are going to see this is departure from average so our average is about 73 74 we are going to be close to the 80s as we head into the last day of this work week and then we are going to have a cold front come through Saturday overnight into Sunday and then we will be pushing closer to 90 degrees as we get into next week Tuesday and then another cold front is expected and that's going to drop us from 87 to 68 with cloudy skies next week Wednesday.